Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Chalk Palette. Today I want to show you a quick and simple project that you can create with our superhero chalk transfer. This was in our product release that was in July, and I kid you not when I have when I say that I designed an entire room around this chalk transfer. What I'm going to be showing you here is just going to be a small snippet of what's going to be going on in the room. Um, I've used this transfer a bunch of different times and so this is just one of the final projects for a sneak peek. So you just saw me create this design using our chalk transfer and the chalk paste. I'm just letting the chalk paste dry, it only takes a few minutes, it's going to be dry to touch but right about now. I'm buying this new chalk transfer above it. Now this transfer I haven't used yet and so I need to fuzz it a few times to make sure that it's not too sticky going on the glass. And then I'm going to just let the line it over here above the superhero. I'll just apply a thin layer of chalk paste, putting the extra back into the jar, and then simply peel up my chalk transfer. Voila! It is perfect, except for that small smudge over on the right hand side. So I can just clean that up with a Q-tip. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Looks great. Um, and then I want to add this star underneath the glass on the paper below it. It's a thicker matte paper, but still, it is just that, it's paper, um, which is awesome that our chalk transfers are so versatile that we can apply it to so many surfaces. Because it's going on paper, and I haven't used this chalk transfer yet, I'm gonna fuzz it a few times, getting the lint on there, and then I'm going to figure out my placement of where I want to go with the design. I'm wanting the O to overlap it a little bit, and so just trying to line it up. It's probably a better way to do it, but this will work just fine. <laughs> Um, this want the O to overlap it kind of in the center. Seems good enough. And now I'm going to be using chalk ink on this. Our chalk ink is meant to be permanent, whereas chalk paste, you can wash off the surface and uh, design over it again. But since I'm going on paper, you can't really wash it off and you can't really heat set it. So either way, it doesn't really matter which one I use. They both would work on paper just fine. This time around, I chose the chalk ink because this chalk ink has a little bit of glitter to it so it's shimmery and that's the kind of effect that I'm wanting to go inside of the room. I'm just going to fan it off to dry it before I put it back into the glass, make sure it's dry to touch so it doesn't stick to my glass, and then place it in with that O. Put my frame back together to make sure it's all snug and tight and voila! One of the projects, so many more to come. Wait till you guys see what I'm doing in this room, it's a lot of fun. But for now I love how simple this design is.